Welcome to the new episode of Learning Basics of Krita. Till now we have learned about creating static illustration in Krita, but can we add some movement to our lifeless but beautiful paintings in Krita? Well, it turns out we can. Let's see how. Surprise! Yes, Krita supports animation and it is not just limited to drawing few frames and exporting individual images. It supports onion skinning, exporting video, proper timeline, etc. All in all, you can use Krita to design storyboard or complete animation from scratch. But why use Krita for animation? We have already seen Krita supports great brush system and advanced layer management, which helps in drawing beautiful artwork. When combined with animation tools, you don't need to use multiple applications just to draw in one and animate in another. Okay, let's see how this works in Krita. By default, you don't see the necessary tools. We need to modify Krita by adding them. You can go to settings, docker and add animation timeline, animation curve and onion skinning. But the most convenient way is to select a layout, go to windows, workplace and choose animation. This way, your default layout also doesn't get modified. So this interface has animation timeline and animation curve at the bottom, onion skinning on the right. On the timeline, you have the play, stop, forward, backward button. Playing would make the animation play in a loop. Scroll it till the end and you can see it plays up to 100 frames and then loops again. That's because by default, it is set to use 100 frames. If you drop down this burger menu, you can see that start frame and frame can be defined. If you increase this to 200, the animation will play for 200 frames. For this video, we will stop at 30 frames. Number of frames per second can be defined too. By default, it uses 24 frames per second. This means for 100 frames, we will have approximately 4 seconds of animation. For smoother animation, 30 frames or higher can be used, but that also means we will have to draw more frames just to achieve same seconds of animation. We will stay at 24 frames per second for this video. We can also zoom the timeline for better visibility. Just click and hold this button and drag. Speed can be reduced and sped up in percentage terms. On the right, we have onion skinning, but we'll come back to it later. Let's move back to frame zero. Now, if you draw on the canvas, it draws just like we have always done. And if you click on the timeline below, time moves, but nothing happens. That's because Krita still doesn't know that we want to animate. Just right click and create blank frame. We have this bulb like icon in the layer. This now signifies that Krita knows that this layer is used for animation. Draw something on frame 0, then click on frame 2 and draw again. Now if you click anywhere in between, you see the drawing on the frame 0 disappears. That's because the new drawing will only appear at frame 2. This also means that Krita is automatically adding frames whenever we draw. Also, if you have made a mistake in a frame, you can completely remove it by right clicking and deleting the frame. Fantastic. But this is still very unintuitive since animation requires reference from previous frame. Let's turn on onion skinning. Click on the light bulb icon and it will glow. Now, if we go back to frame zero, the new stroke in frame two is visible, but as a green stroke. Similarly, if you go to frame two, the previous stroke is visible, but as a red line. This is the power of onion skinning and with this let's move on to onion skin docker. This is where we have defined the next frame should look as green and the previous frame should look as red. We can change the color to our liking. Now onion skinning also has this distribution of frame where it defines the how the opacity would be for different frames. So the current frame will have the opacity at full. Next frame and previous frame will have slightly less opacity and so on. You can drag and reduce or increase the opacity as per your liking. Every layer added requires animation to be turned on, otherwise it won't work. Ok, with all this is out of the way, we are actually ready for our first animation. So we will start with three layers. Let's call one character outline, then character color and I want a text to pop up, so a bubble layer next. On character layer. And on frame 0, right click to add a frame. And let's also turn on onion skinning by clicking on the bulb icon. Now let's create a character which is eerily similar to a famous lawyer. And go to frame 10 and draw the second frame. But wait, we have a shortcut. Go back to frame 0 and copy the frame using right click. And now at frame 10, paste it. 
again go to frame 20 and paste it now if you play the animation everything is same cause well that's what we wanted now again go to frame 10 and now we can draw these changes required in the frame this copy and paste method works best when there is not much change between the frames similarly we move to frame 20 and draw the changes great let's play and see how this looks now the loop is okay it's just that we are wasting so many frames to play let's reduce it and now play nice some colors would not be bad so let's focus on the other layer and yes we have to turn on animation on this right click and add frame turn on the onion skinning and paint at the relevant frames Great. I also wanted a text bubble so let's process the same way, turn on animation, onion skinning and paint. Wonderful, our first animation is ready. Now all we have to do is export this. Go to file and render animation. You can export this in a series of images or as a video or as both. For our sake, we want to export in a video format. We can define the resolution, frame limit, frame per second, etc. But there is a problem. This won't work as Krita has no codec built in for rendering animation, at least in the desired format. This can be fixed by downloading FFmpeg. The link is given in the description box. Let's download FFmpeg, extract it somewhere and link it with the navigation box in Krita. Go to the folder, in the bin folder, select ffmpeg.exe and now we can render our animation. It is probably easier for Linux users who can install ffmpeg from their repositories. And here is our first animation. Objection! Okay guys, this is it. We have briefly touched the animation system in Krita, created our first animation and it was fun too, I hope. We have not even touched animation curves. We can import animation in Krita. In fact, we can add audio right within Krita too. But that is all for another day. Till we meet again. Bye bye.